All right, we're back at it for week five. Um, we got the word last week that we're not coming back at all this year. Um, so it is what it is. Just going to keep kind of moving along and just getting as much done as we possibly can in the time, and given the um, situation we're in with remote learning and all that. Again, no tests and quizzes the rest of the year at this point. Um, just one homework assignment a week along with a weekly survey. You do those, you'll be good to go. You'll get the grade you need for this class and you'll be just fine. Um, that's it. So this week we're going to start radicals for a little bit. Uh, we've done a little bit of radicals before, so it shouldn't be too, too bad. To, or This week we're, all we're doing is simplifying radicals. That is it. We know certain ones, like square root of 25 is 5, square root of 49 is 7, square root of 16 is 4. These are things we should know already. Um, so we have that. This slide is a big one that you may need to know. Know your perfect squares. 1 is a perfect square, square root of 1 is 1, 4 is a perfect square, square root of 4 is 2, all the way up to 144, which is square root of 144 is 12. You need to know 1 through 12, the perfect squares. So 1, 4, 9, 16, 25, 36, so on. It just makes your job easier with this. That's all. Um, I actually printed them out on the worksheet, so it shouldn't be too, too bad for you. All right. Simplify. Square root of 20. 20 was not on that list. Um, we had 16. We had 25. So it's going to be somewhere in between there pretty much. I want exact answers. These are not answers you're plugging into your calculator and rounding for me. I want a radical in your answer. So we look at this. What we need to do is take the square root of 20. We need to break up 20. We need to find the biggest factor of 20 that is a perfect square. What's the biggest factor of 20 that's a perfect square? We look back at our list. 4 is a factor of 20, 9 is not, 16 is not. We can't go any bigger than that because then we get bigger than 20. So 4 is our per perfect square. So we split it up 4 and 5. 4 times 5 is 20. Then we break it up into two radicals, square root of 4 times the square root of 5. Square root of 4 is 2. Square root of 5, not a perfect square, so we leave it. You don't need the multiplication symbol. I wrote both. I only need one, and you don't need the multiplication symbol. Um, but that's it. That's all we're looking at. I got a few other examples here for you, and that's all. Square root of 27, same deal. We need to break up 27, find a factor of 27. It's a perfect square. Again, we're finding the biggest factor of 27. It's a perfect square, so we got 9. 9 times 3. Break it up, square root of 9 times square root of 3. Square root of 9 is 3. Square root of 3 we can't do anything with, so there's your answer. Next. This is one you got to watch a little bit. 48. We're looking for the biggest factor of 48. It's a perfect square. So with that said, your biggest factor is going to be 16. 16 times 3 is 48. Square root of 16 is 4. Square root of 3, square root of 3. So 4 radical 3 is your answer. Now, this is a weird one. Longer process, same answer. What happens if you don't pick the biggest perfect square factor? We have, say you picked 4. 4 is the obvious one in my opinion. So we split it up 4 and 12. We get 2 radical 12. 12 can still be broken down. I actually get an, another arrow in here. 2 radical 12 you can break out 12 and be 4 times 3 as you see here. Then we have 2 times square root of 4 times square root of 3. Square root of 4 is 2. 2 times 2 is 4. 4 radical 3 is your answer. Again, same answer more work. That's all. Last example I got for you. 24 is not a perfect square. And this one also has a factor in front. 
So it's a little bit different, similar to what, like what we saw in the last one. We have break up 24, it's 4 and 6. 5 times the square root of 4 times the square root of 6. The square root of 4 is 2, so it's 5 times 2 outside the radical. It's 10 radical 6 is your answer. What I made a note of here, everything is being multiplied. It's 5 times the radical. 5 times radical 4 times radical 6. Right, square root of 4 it becomes 2, so it's 5 times 2, then times radical 6. So you just multiply what comes out. That's it. Uh, that's all I got for you guys. It's our last example. Like I said, not much. Um, all you're going to have is some answers or problems very similar to this. Just getting some extra practice with it. That's it. Have a good week, guys.